The patient was a 27-year-old male with Lynch syndrome. An obstructive tumor developed in the transverse colon, distal to the hepatic flexure. An ileostomy was performed for temporary decompression. Imaging studies revealed the tumor margins extended to the pancreas, head, and neck. completely obstructing the superior mesenteric vein and abutting the main trunk of the superior mesenteric artery. In addition, venous collateral branches were found in and around the pancreas. An ex vivo small bowel autotransplant surgical approach was proposed, which would provide control for the venous collaterals and create favorable conditions for vessel reconstruction. To start, the ileostomy will be taken down and the ileum divided. A right-sided medial visceral rotation, or a cattell brosh maneuver, will be performed. An extended cocker maneuver will then be performed, mobilizing the hepatic flexure, the duodenum, and the pancreas head from the inferior vena cava. The intestines will be reflected cephalad. Revealing the root of the SMA. The descending colon will be mobilized and rotated medially and the sigmoid colon will be divided proximally. The inferior mesenteric artery will be supplying the remnant rectum. At the porta, a retrograde cholecystectomy will be performed. The common bile duct, gastroduodenal artery, and venous collateral branches would be divided. The stomach would then be divided proximal to the antrum. And the proximal jejunum will be divided. The SMV and the first jejunal branch will be identified, which will be key in reconstructing venous outflow. The pancreas will then be transected, along with the collateral branches in and around the pancreas body. The splenic vein will be divided. Followed by the portal vein and SMA. The organs will be removed from the abdominal cavity onto the back bench. The SMV and the first jejunal branch of the SMV will be divided. The specimen will then be removed, leaving the small bowel and mesentery. The SMV will be anastomosed to a panel graft, constructed from the superficial femoral vein, followed by the first jejunal branch. The small bowel will be transferred back into the abdominal cavity. The SMA will be reconnected to its root, and the panel graft anastomosed to the portal vein. The splenic vein will be anastomosed laterally to the panel graft.